Hello, all. welcome back to Learning Partner. So, yesterday night, Angular 18 is there. So, this video just I'm creating to let you know like what new things are there in Angular 18. Nothing major new changes are there as per concern to the developer perspective. So, when uh, I'm talking about the coding way, like what new things are there that we will be focusing, but majorly like it's uh, some things were there in the development mode in the Angular 17, but now it is stable. So, like those changes are there. And the major two changes are there, that is uh, chain detection. Now we can disable the chain detection here. So I, all you know, like we have got the signal now. So signal is like the functionality which doesn't need zone.js libraries. So zone.js is the uh, library which Angular team uses to detect the chain, chain detection, correct? But now uh, with signal, they are trying to get rid of the zone.js because it has some performance issue. Then uh, you might remember like how you used to write the redirect to in route. So now we can pass a function to it and you can create, you can uh, with some coding, you can redirect to based on the whatever the scenario you have. So these are the two major things as per I observe in Angular 18. So let's try to discuss what new things are there. So you can see now officially it is Angular 18. Previously it was uh, 17, then we have got 17.3, but now it's officially 18 version is there. So let's click on their blog what uh, let's see what new things are there before it how do we update to angular 18 so obviously we have to install the latest angular cli version then you can check the version so now let me just show mine so now here you can see 18 is there correct so now after that you can just create a project and you can see 18 version will be there now you can see the major highlight is like experimental support for zone lo zone less change detection, the major thing. So this is the only major thing what developers should be concerned about. So with signal, what their Angular team is trying to do is they are trying to get rid of the zone zone JS library, correct? Because zone.js has some performance issue. So they are trying to get rid of that. Now with signal, you actually don't need the zone.js. So overall project, you can disable the chain detection. So earlier, what we used to do in the component decorator, we used to chain detection strategy. We used to push on push strategy means we were, we were disabling the chain detection, but now that thing you can do on overall project. So let me just show you how do we do that. So this is the project I have created with angular 18. So now you can see it is there in app config. Here you can see in provider section, provide experimental zoneless chain detection. If you add this, it will disable the chain detection in overall project. Now let me show you how it actually works. Let's close everything. Now, just remember, we have disabled the chain detection by adding this property. Now here you can see, I have created a normal variable and I have created a signal also. And in constructor, in set timeout, I'm trying to change the signal value and the normal variable value also. Now I will just remove this and let's save and check what happens. No colors, no two double zero. So now you can see we have got Angular 18 over here, but in constructor, we are actually changing that title name with Angular 17, but it's not displaying the new value. Let's check if it is changing or not. So let's add a debugger over here, reload. Why we are getting debugger over here? So now you can see by default value was Angular 18 in this variable. And after three seconds, set timeout got triggered and we are successfully changing the variable value also. But in template, you can see old value is there, Angular 18. So because that is happening because we have disabled the chain detection. Earlier, we used to do the same thing in component decorator. This is how we used to do it. So chain detection, chain detection strategy dot on push. This is how we used to do it on a component level. But now on the project level, we can disable the chain detection. So that is how we do like this. But if we disabled it, how UI is going to render the new chain? Now the new things that is signal we have to use. Now let's try to update the signal. So we have created a signal also. So this dot app name dot set from bracket. So while initializing the signal, we have said angular rating tutorial and in signal in constructor in set timeout, we will change it to angular 18.1 
new features. So in signal, what uh, while initializing the signal, I have said Angular 18 tutorial, but in set timeout, I am changing the value of the signal. Now just observe what happens. And in component, I'm trying to read the signal also. Let me reload. So at the initial page, we are displaying whatever the value we have stored in variable and the signal. Now set timeout got triggered. We have changed the variable value and the signal also. Now, if we continue, now you can see new value is available over here. So without zone.js also, you are able to uh, detect the changes. So this is the major thing what we have in Angular 18. No need to figure out what new things are there. Again, according to developer perspective, this is the only new thing which we should be aware. Again, so many things are there, but those are like in uh, Angular 17, it was in the development. Now it is in the stable like that thing. Then second is like Angular dev site is now the home for Angular developer. They are saying like, uh, try to use the Angular dev site. So this site, whatever the previous was, it is it should be used for an older version. Now what new things are there, you, you will find it over here. Then material three. So in Angular 17, material three was in the development mode. Now it is in the stable mode. Then differable views. So we have seen differable views like at the rate uh, differ, then viewport conditions we can pass. So that content will be loaded dynamically. Uh, means uh, once it is required like that. Then built-in control flow. Built-in control flow we have already seen at the rate if, at the rate for, at the rate else, at the rate switch case. In Angular 17, those were in the development board, but now those are stable. That's it. Then some changes are there in server-side rendering uh, for hydration support also. They, in hydration support like uh, with... Uh, Angular 17, it was in the stable mode, but now debugging and everything, it is in the uh, stable mode. Previously, it was in the development mode. With uh, one new thing is like event event replay. So in Google search, they, they were using JS action or something library was there to uh, replay the events. So now in Angular 18, it is already in bleed. That is the new thing. Chain detection we have already seen. So this is that. Uh, zone list change detection, updating to zone list, coalescing in by default. I'm not sure like what is this coalescing. Okay, that event chasing. So now you can use the event replay, then native await for Zenlos app. So as I said, like these are the things which are uh, for Angular, uh, background processing of Angular 18. As a developer, we don't need to concern much. New home page. Then material three is stable now. Signal API we already seen. Deeper views are stable now. Built-in control flow is also stable now. Improvement in server side rendering, nothing major. Whatever it was there, it is just advanced. Uh, like they have done the improvement. Event replay, what I said. So Angular, you might have heard like Angular uh, has uh, collaborated with Wiz framework. So this is just a framework which was initially using in uh, Gmail, Google app, so many Google app, you know, so that uh, they have integrated with Angular now. So this is the example, like uh, if your application is offline and if you click on two, three, three times, once application get online, you that event will be there. And once application is available, you can still uh, get that event callbacks. So this is for that. And you can enable that by adding in the provider section, provide client handration with event relay. Debugging experience. So what they are saying in the, it will be for a hydration, a hydration process only if you are dealing with the server side rendering, that is for you. Then hydration supporting CDK and material. And the ready for Firebase of hosting, what is saying related to this? Robust hosting with apps, your Firebase app hosting. It is related to some Firebase hosting. Not sure in detail. But again, like for developer concern, it is not in that much change specifying. Specifying a fallback content for ng content. One of the best updated issue we have specified default content for ng content. It is a, so when we use ng content uh, in, in between selector, we used to pass some content, right? So let's say this is a reusable component app profile. We have app ng content over here and we can pass the value. So here you can see span and greeting we are passing and this will load like this, but with the unknown user. So what is this doing? This is like something default unknown user. 
Okay. So let's say you have created a reusable component. In that reusable component, uh, in between the selector, you can pass the HTML. And that past HTML, you will render it over here like this. Correct? So now, here you can see we are passing the value greeting. So now this greeting will be added over here. But with this, you will get a default HTML also that you can provide it over here. If you need some default content to be available in reusable component so that you can add it in another ng content. So this is the specifying callback. Okay. Then ununified control state change event. Okay. So this is also new thing. So earlier you remember like we used to create the standalone form control. If we have a single uh, text box and you need to bind that text box with the reactive form control. So we used to create that, but now on that form control, we can actually subscribe this like this also. You can see we have created a form control and we are actually subscribing to the events happening on that form control. This is the new thing. Then redirect to, yeah, so this is the redirect to. So let's see this. So I have already tried this. So now here you can see previously what we used to do, let me just get rid of this. Previously, what we used to do in redirect to, we used to only pass the route name, like login. But now let's say based on the condition or based on some code, you need to redirect to do something else. Okay. So that you can do like this. So let's say if, if uh, you have your application is role based, you have user role, you have customer role and uh, whatnot. So if in the URL, you have user ID, if in the query parameter you have user ID, you can redirect to user login. If in the query parameter you have customer ID, you, you can redirect to customer login or else the normal login tool. So earlier it was not possible, but there were so many scenarios where we have to redirect to where we have to redirect based on the condition. So now on the route level, you can write that. Previously, we used to create a, uh, what we can say, intermediate component and there we used to write that logic and then we used to redirect. But now, on the route level only, you can write that. So this is the new thing. Let's see what else is. Again, TypeScript 5.4 is there. This is just, again, for their purpose. So as to just summarize, these are the two major things. First, like chain detection, we are disabling. Redirect is there. And for form control, individual form control, we can listen to the events. And material three is also there and differable views and the built-in control flow statements are stable now. So nothing new, but as per developer, we should be aware about the zone.js changes happening. So as Angular team, obviously they are going to get rid of the zone.js. So make sure you are familiar with signal, how you use the signal, how do you update the signal value. That computed thing is also there. So make sure you are familiar with this. So that's it with this video. These are the new changes we have got in Angular 18. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. If you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe.